Dokies and Dilly Peer back with another OBS tutorial and I've been asked quite a few times how I create my scrolling text on my stream where it's got a little ticker box at the bottom as you can kind of see here. It's quite a cool effect and it can be done all in OBS without any plugins. Let's get into it. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. So I'm going to show you how to create the kind of ticker text, like ticker text that you don't want to say that too many times. <laughs> Let's just jump into OBS. It is in normal OBS. You don't need any plugins for this. It's just built directly into OBS. So if I press the plus on the sources and I'm going to add in a text source, add a text source. I'm just going to call it text GDI. That's fine. Press OK. And if you guys have used text sources before, you'll know you can change all your font and everything like that. I'm just going to do a hello world thing. That That's for you that... Uh, that's for you there, Waldo. Much love. Uh, press OK, and you can see I've got my text. And basically, what we're wanting to happen is for it to scroll across the screen, as you can see that I'm doing manually. So we right-click on the source, go to filters, and we can press the plus sign, and you'll see I've got a ton of filters. It's just all the plugins that I've got installed, but scroll is a normal one that's installed in OBS as default. So press scroll. I'm just going to call it scroll for now, and you can see as soon as I start cranking these speeds up, it starts scrolling one way or maybe i want to go the other way as well completely up to you as you can probably see there's not a break in between the text here at all but i'll get to that in just a second we can add a vertical scroll speed as well if you really want to make it trippy you can do pretty much anything and i'll show you a cool use of that in a second so i'm going to leave it on say minus 150 for now so it just keeps scrolling across like so which is quite nice in fact no we'll get it going the other way 150 because that makes it easier to read. One thing that we can do, because as you can see, depending on how long our, uh, our text box is. So if I click on the text box and start typing some more stuff in, this is a test. You can see the text box carries on past the canvas size. And like that's good enough for a little scrolling thing. But we want to make sure it's perfect. So if we press filters, we can actually limit the width. So now that whole message is still going to scroll, but in 100 pixels. So if I do 1920 in here, for example, like that, it will just be the canvas size and it won't, it'll be completely centered all the time, which is lush. Uh, I can press close. We're nearly done. As you can see, when it gets to the end, it goes straight into Hello World. So if I say add, well, we'll say um, one, two, three, four, five, just five spaces at the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, five spaces at the end. And you'll see when it gets to this is a test that's coming up in a second. You'll see there's a nice big break before another message comes in, which is again, hello world. This is a test. So it splits the text up as well. That's how I get all my different messages. So it's basically one long text file that I'll probably add in five spaces, and then a dash and then one, two, three, four, five, five more spaces. This is another test. And as that goes along, I'll add five, um, five again. One, two, three, four, five, and a dash. So now it's completely spaced out. This is another test. I'll uh, just speed that up just to uh, get it moving a little bit quicker. You'll see this is a test. Big space. Hello, world. This is a test. Big space again. And back to the other message just there. And that's how I create my ticker text. You can obviously change the size of the font and everything like that. It's completely up to you how, what you do with this sort of thing. So you can change the font here if I want it really smaller or anything like that. We can get it going looking a little bit like that. So you can kind of do anything. That's a little bit hard to read. So I wouldn't recommend doing it that quick. And that's how to make a basic ticker. And you can put that anywhere on your screen if you want to. Right down at the bottom or anything like that. But another thing that we could do, let me just slow that down a little bit so it's not too much. We'll uh, put it down to 100. There we go. And I'm going to add in this time a image. So if I go to my image source just here, we'll add an image. I'm going to browse for an image. Who knows what I'm going to find. This will, uh, this will do. This will do. And I press OK. What I could do is add the scroll. So if I press filters again, press the plus sign and add this scroll filter. Call it scroll again, that doesn't matter. We can put this on a scroll and on a corner. And as you can see, it kind of loops all my image and everything like that. So if I uh, if I press uh, limit width and height and I do 1920 by, yeah, I think you can see what I'm doing, by 1080. Oops, I can't type. 1080. Doesn't want any microphones in the way. Um, Yeah, so I've kind of made... Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. I think you get the point of it. There's a load of cool effects that you could use with scroll. It's just literally just use your imagination. There's so many cool things that you can chain together and create more dynamics on your stream. Like I've just pretty much made a background there and it's so like, just look, I'm using 0.7% of my CPU to create that. Even if I cranked it up and started adding like a ridiculous amount of speed, like so, you can see, oh, it's gone up to one point. Oh, it's back down because I had the preview window open. Open. so it's less than one percent and i've created a background that's animated obviously you don't have to have something that ugly so yeah there's loads of things that you could probably use that for i'd love to know what you get up to let me know in the comments down below what you've created with this you don't need to buy overlays and things like that just make your own inside obs it's so cpu like it's not even cpu heavy do you know what i mean like use loading files that aren't webm is more intensive than creating like a scroll effect or something like that so just use your imagination share what you come up with share it in the discord i'd love to see it and maybe you get on our uh, streamer showcase with something who knows but as always put your rug with the stone and i'll see you in the next one much love i just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time make it free for you guys and also a huge thanks to all my youtube members you you guys are legends thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community keep it up guys